Good evening, everyone. It's Coach Tam, and I am checking in after our wonderful Wednesday Experiencing God Bible study. Uh, we have been studying Experiencing God for a couple of months now, so we're now at a really exciting point in our study where we are looking at the seven realities of God. And the first one is God is at work around us. Check this out. God is not sitting in a heavenly throne room, passively observing the activity on earth. God is orchestrating history. He is present and in the middle of human activity. When we looked at uh, this chapter this week, it actually opened with a really inspiring story. And I want to share uh, just a brief synopsis of it with you today that really illustrates this point. So there was a church in a community um, that was actually in a state of decline. So a lot of its members had moved from the city to the suburbs. And as the membership declined, the leaders of the church made a decision that the church was actually going to disband. It was going to close because they were down to just a small number of members. But it just so happened that in the final stages, there was an apartment manager of a local complex that came over to the church and asked if, asked if there would be anything that they could do for the children that were in the community. And the church had been studying Experiencing God as their wrap up, as they were preparing to disband. And so they sought God as to whether or not they should consider this as an example of how God was working around them. And so they took some faith steps they did start a program, and as a result of starting that program, it actually attracted some unwed mothers. And along with unwed mothers came uh, drug dealers, gang members, all kinds of people that we wouldn't commonly associate with a church. But check this out. Here's what happened is as they accepted the invitation that God gave them, not only did their church grow tremendously, but they were able to make a positive impact on the community. So we talked about in our study how, first of all, the church could have said, well, we're in our final stages. You know, there's no point in us taking on this assignment. They could have easily done that, but they didn't. And then as they started to see the type of person uh, that was coming into their church, they could have gotten into that stance of, oh, no, we, we don't want those people in our church. But because they were obedient and because they were open, they were able to partner with God. And it turns out that God had been orchestrating this all along. They just needed to meet him there. And the same is what he wants to do for us. You know, as we looked at, um, you know, this chapter, God is at work around us, we were challenged to look at how Jesus interacted with the Father. And Jesus' example for us was, that he was also totally and completely dependent on the Father. Even, even though he is the Son of God, he still needed to depend on God. If you really think about it, he still prayed. He still prayed, right? So he still needed to seek God for guidance. He still needed to seek God for direction. And as our role model, the ultimate role model, then we need to do the same. The last point that um, I underscore today is that as much as we like it to be that God, God kind of equips us for the assignment before we begin it. I know me personally, I would love to feel ready for the assignment. Like I have everything I needed. All my I's are dotted and all my T's are crossed. Instead, what we see in scripture is that the assignment always comes first. So God extends the invitation and then he challenges us to act in faith, believing that he will supply um, the, you know, the mindset, the skill set, the resources that we need in order to accomplish the task. Because if he has called us through it, he can see, if he has called us to it, rather, he can see us through it. So if you're going through something right now and you're wondering how in the world that I'm Am I going to get this done? But you know in your heart of hearts that is an invitation from God to join him while he is working. I want to remind you that the assignment always comes first. But here's the good news. As we walk in obedience, the provision that we need 
will be there. So we'd love to have you join us. Uh, we will meet again in two weeks on September the 25th. Uh, we are located in the Matthews area in the Stevens Mill Shopping Center. I pray that you will meet us there. We start at 7.30 and we're out by 9 o'clock. Uh, we will continue through this study for the remainder of the year. So every two weeks, you have an opportunity to join us. To learn more about what we do, go ahead and head on over to our website at www dot 265point.com. You can learn more about our next Bible study meeting, um, and you can all also sign up for your free two-week pass to have an opportunity to join our faith-filled environment. Well, I'm going to sign off for the evening. I hope you have a good night, and God bless.